Snoop Dogg is uh, being sued for sexual assault and Snoop Dogg calls it a shakedown. And this is according to TMZ. No woman claims that Snoop Dogg forced her to have oral on her back in 2013. But a source representing the rapper says the woman filed suit on the heels of the Super Bowl where Snoop is performing in the halftime show, hoping that she would get a payday. The woman who is only identified as Jane Doe claims that on May 29, 2013, she attended one of Snoop's shows in Anaheim, California. After the show, the woman says Bishop Don Juan, a longtime associate of Snoop's, offered her a ride home. She says she fell asleep in the car and when she woke up, they had not arrived at her home but at Bishop's. The lawsuit says um, the plaintiff was exhausted and fell asleep at Bishop's home. And she says she awoke at 4 a.m. the next morning and Bishop removed his uh, private parts from his pants and forced his private parts into the plaintiff's face and reportedly shoved his private parts into the plaintiff's mouth. And she says in the suit that uh, Bishop discriminated against and harassed her because of her sex and gender. I don't know what they're trying to say with that, but that's what they say. And then uh, she says Bishop gave her a dress and told her to put it on so that they could go to Snoop's studio saying, I want to see if he will make you the weather girl for, for some TV show. The woman says in the suit um, that she's a, a model and dancer. Then she claims she went to uh, Snoop's but had a stomach ache, so she went to the bathroom, and while she was um, using the bathroom, Snoop walked in, and uh, standing with his uh, crouch in her face while the uh, plaintiff was using the bathroom. She says then he forced oral on her. She claims shortly thereafter, Bishop said to her, come here, take a picture with Snoop, and she says that she was scared, so she took the picture. And then she says Snoop wouldn't hire her because she refused to willing, willingly and happily give oral. Snoop denies the um, entire story saying it's a pack of lies. He posted an image on his Instagram calling her a gold digger. And a source tells TMZ the woman demanded shy of $10 million and that demand was rejected. And both Snoop and Bishop Don Juan were sued for unspecified damages. And we tried reaching Snoop for comment, but were a unable to contact him, according to TMZ. And according to um, NBC News, um, the young lady's attorney, Mike Finkelberg, said in his statement Thursday that she refuses to be silenced and intimidated any longer. And the um, attorney says... Our client's hope is to inspire other victims of se sexual harassment, assault, and battery to understand that they have rights and will be protected. And although they are victims, they will not have to be silenced forever, Finkelberg said. And according to the filing, the woman attempted to resolve the issue in private mediation on Tuesday, but the discussions were unsuccessful. Since the woman is named as a Jane Doe, the lawsuit is unclear if a criminal complaint has been filed. And so, I don't know how I feel about this. I'm kind of on the fence because I always want to believe the victims and believe the women when they, when they say that these things have happened to them. But, you know, it's just kind of funny on the other hand that all of this is happening right on the heels of the Super Bowl. So I'm kind of on the fence about this, so I don't really have a definite opinion one way or another. I tend to believe the women because I don't want to just not believe women when they say that they were assaulted or hurt. So I'm just going to see how this one plays out. What do you guys think? Do you believe the uh, young lady or do you believe, as Snoop says, that she's just gold digging and it's just a payday? opportunity as the Super Bowl approaches. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and I'll see you guys on the next one.